Now there's a novel idea. Throughout all the division that we have faced over the course of the years. If one were to go back in my videos, you will see there is one unifying thing that binds us all together. And that is old glory. Hello everyone, Benjamin John here. I've noticed a, a couple things that have transpired in the recent weeks uh, and started off with uh, our good old water tank here locally. And it looks like nationally as well, other people have taken upon this idea. It matters not who you choose to vote for. You have a right to choose. And that decision that you make is yours alone. It doesn't need to be out there projected in bright lights. It's just a choice. It's the most powerful tool that we have here in this nation, and that is our right to vote. Free speech is equally uh, a, a God-given right. It is our First Amendment right. But there are laws put forth for good reason so that we don't become so divisive against one another. My suggestion is this, and perhaps this, this may not fall in deaf ears, though I do believe it will, because 99% of the things I say do fall in deaf ears. Perhaps it would be best instead of projecting the Trump 2024 slogan on the water tower, perhaps we display old glory. You know, our stars and stripes, our good old star spangled banner. Because there's nothing in this world more unifying than old glory herself. It brings us all together. If we look back in 9-11, what brought us back was not just the tragedy, but us as Americans. It's something that all of us can stand for and stand together with. It matters not. I'm going to repeat myself. It matters not who you choose to vote for. What matters is, is that no matter what the outcome is, we all stand together as Americans. After all, it is in God we trust. Not any politician, even if they're saying all the right things. They matter not. God matters be beyond all else. And if we look at candidates, it may be best to look at a candidate who is of God, through him, in him, and with him. Right? Uh, the king of peace. Right? If we're looking for peace and not for war, you know who your candidate is. And I'm not advocating for one or the other. I'm just saying, if you're looking for peace, if you're looking to be united as a nation and live, in, live our lives in peace, instead of putting divisive political signs on the water towers, perhaps just projecting the American flag, and I'm willing to bet, and I could be wrong, and maybe this will expose some communists in our area, but I'm willing to bet that people would receive that message well. With that, I hope this message is getting through to others and that we can um, do, th do something good for all, not just for some. Anyways, I do hope you're all well. Be well. This is Benjamin John. God bless.